developing now the cleanup. It is going to take days. It, thousands of people, as you might remember, yesterday rallying across the D.C. area and the damaged property, spray painted monuments and lit American flags on fire. Yeah, that massive group protesting the visit of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the ongoing war in Gaza. Our Mario Carbone live tonight at Union Station where the majority of that damage is. And Marielle, I mean, we're looking at these images, very troubling, and the National Park Service says it's going to be days to fully clean this. Uh, yeah, Susan, that is because they say it'll take a few passes over the granite and marble to really get those items clean. You can see behind us, even with cleaning today, you can still see and Israel written on this monument. Now today people were coming out to look at this graffiti and process what happened. Meanwhile, some law enforcement agencies are saying that this damage is due to staff shortages yesterday. Thursday evening, three American flags fly high above Union Station. The flag itself is so beautiful. But just 24 hours before, an entirely different scene. As protesters pulled down the flags and set them on fire. It's not morally right. U.S. Army veteran uh, Brian Wolfinger says like it's difficult to process. Uh, to burn that flag is to burn the thing that we hold dear to our heart, and that's the freedom to exercise all these rights that we have. Crews from the National Park Service spent the day cleaning up graffiti and vandalism left behind after demonstrators took over Columbus Circle, protesting the visit of Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the U.S.'s financial support of the Israel-Hamas war. Just the way people were acting. It was Daniel Oribe says he was surprised to see how things turned out. It was just devastating, but I got to see people come here after it's cleaning up. And both citizens and federal leaders have criticized how U.S. Park Police handled the protest. The department's union blaming it on staffing shortages. In a statement, FOP Chair Kenneth Spencer says a small unit of 29 officers arrested 10 individuals while being assaulted by a mob of thousands. We simply do not have the staff or resources to accomplish a mass arrest operation. As the cleanup continues, Wolfinger is urging people to take a step back. At some point, you have to be able to say, I have to tone it down a little bit because violence is not necessary. And Park Police, they weren't alone out here yesterday for this protest. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police Department says their officers were working with Park Police and other agencies throughout the day, including here at Columbus Circle, uh, where they did make four arrests of protesters. Reporting live from Union Station, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now. All right, former President Donald Trump posting on Truth Social about the protest, saying if those people rioting in Washington yesterday were Republicans, conservatives, they'd all be in jail right now facing 20, 10 to 20 years sentences under this crooked administration. Nothing will happen to them. Vice President Kamala Harris releasing a statement on the protest saying in part, I condemn the burning of the American flag. That flag is a symbol of our highest ideals as a nation and represents the promise of America. I support the right to peacefully protest, but let's be clear, anti-Semitism, hate and violence of any kind have no place in our nation.